So the Oversight Committee, the House Oversight Committee, finally released their whole investigation. So it is done. It is finished. The Oversight Committee released their stuff on Dan Snyder and they bump bum 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 they found him guilty. Well, they they they're not judge, jury, and executioner by any stretch, but they uh they're definitely accusing Dan Snyder of being implicit for the toxic environment within the uh, what was then the Washington Redskins uh, organization. <clears throat> Excuse me. And of course, they released their findings in I believe it was a 79 page paper, and you can read that paper. It was uh, also, you know, includes the whole. Um, Testimony from Dan Snyder, which pretty much I can sum up within a couple of words or so. I don't recall. And that's pretty much what Dan Snyder's testimony was. Uh, and the testimony from Bruce, Al uh, from Bruce Allen was pretty much, it's all Dan Snyder's fault. So that's pretty much how it all went. And really, honestly, it covers everything that, guess what? We already know. We already know everything about the cheerleader incident, um, some of these ex-employees coming forth. Um, we had an idea that Dan Snyder most likely interfered with the investigations. The House Oversight Committee seems to feel that he, in fact, indi indeed did interfere within it and of course the NFL was implicit with this as well because they didn't really do anything about it again we already knew this because they buried the Beth Wilkinson investigation so honestly it was a little bit of a nothing burger but you know is it going to be enough is it going to be enough to to be the final nail in the coffin to force Dan Snyder to sell the team. Well, I think we're already there, pretty much. I think there's so much against him, and he's already reached out to talk about accu uh, acquisitions. I, I am making up words this morning. Uh, you know, uh, with Bank America and all that stuff, so I'm pretty sure that he's probably at the point where it's best to just cut bait and go. I mean... The team is not even called the Redskins anymore. That was one thing that he was really adamant about keeping with this team was the name and the tradition. And I'm not really sure how much of that still exists. I mean, we know the name doesn't exist. We know the logo doesn't exist anymore. So, you know, does the tradition really exist other than some of the colors and even that, you know, you start to look at, well, now we're starting to mix in black as a alternate main primary color within the uniform. So I think we're slowly starting to do away with the tradition of what was once the Washington Redskins anyway. So, I mean, I just really think that uh, Dan Snyder's probably at the point where he's like, you know what, they've taken the team away from me at this point anyway, so... Might as well cut bait, sell, get what I can, and live on my yacht for the rest of my days. Probably not a bad idea at this point, Dan. And uh, and anyway, uh, the his only saving grace in all of this is the fact that the Oversight Committee will change hands. Um, the Republicans will lead the Oversight Committee starting in January, and they have already said they plan to squash this whole investigation of Dan Snyder, so... Uh, Dan Snyder will have a reprieve of that. There will be no more further investigations from the government, basically, into Dan Snyder. And they felt like it was a total waste of time. So he'll have a reprieve of that. So if he wanted to have any chance of saying, you know, I'm going to fight this and I'm going to hold on to the team, that, that's probably the one thing that he was waiting on was a change of hand in leadership uh, within the government, within this oversight committee, to kind of outlive that. But, you know, all in all, I, I really think 
there there's been so much other negative press that I just don't know if he outlives that. I really think at this point the team is going to be sold. It looks to be possibly those wheels are going to start turning in January. So you're looking at next month and then possibly by March this franchise having a brand new owner. That's exciting. That's very exciting news. <coughs> Excuse me, but I'll say I'll say this, if we don't have a new owner by March, we may not have we may not ever have a new owner. That's something you got to think about as well, folks. And then amongst all of those all of that stuff, all of that news, the Washington Commanders are still playing for a playoff spot this year. This has been a wild and crazy year, folks. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.